I think one of the key challenges facing conservation efforts worldwide is the increasing disconnect between people and the natural world, particularly for younger generations. As a researcher working on insects, I'm particularly worried about misunderstandings and dislike of insects amongst the general public, despite these things being very important for lots of ecosystem functions and services worldwide that we rely on, and their sheer diversity and interest. There have been estimated to be around 5.5 million insect species worldwide, and yet only 1 million of those have been formally named. So we live in an extraordinarily diverse world for insects, and a very, very undiscovered one. And I think that's very exciting. For me, one of the ways of getting people more involved, more, more um, interested in insects, is getting to actually see them up close and personal. And I think the advantage of insects is that you can do that in your own garden. Even with a window box, you can see insects. The other thing you can do is you can bring insects into your own home, so you can find out more about them, you can actually see them. And this works incredibly well for children, but also for adults as well. And I'm going to show you some of my insects here. There are lots of easy insects you can keep. But perhaps the easiest to start on are stick insects. This is my one of my stick insect containers here. You don't need to have a proper container like this. Anything that's fairly high, insects, um, stick insects like to climb up. So if you have a long, thin container, it's really good for keeping insects. And these particular ones, this one's are called Sungaya inexpecta, um, which is some common name is the Sunny Island Stick Insect. And these are really easy to keep with bramble. And I'm going to show you some of these now. And I think. There's absolutely loads of really fascinating things you can do just by just by having these to really learn more about insects. They're great for children, absolutely great for children. You can keep them in your kitchen like we do. Um, this one has a very different shape for the males and females. So this is a, let's see if this works, a female Sunny Island stick insect here. They're quite impressive beasts. And this is the male here as well. So the male is much smaller than the female, which is kind of interesting um, straight away. There's a big difference between the two sexes. And they've also got these wonderful um, camouflage patterns on them, spines and shapes, things that break up their outline. You can see this here. The female itself is really quite hard to see, and she's got behaviour to go with it. She won't move at all during the daytime unless I, unless I pick her up, of course. Um, she'll sit there, but then at night time, if you sneak down, you'll see these things actively feeding. So they're really, really interesting. And they've got these beautiful, long, see, long, stripy antennae. So it's a great way, again, of getting um, children to think about how insects are perceiving the natural world, how they're feeling the world around them. I think that's absolutely remarkable. They're also very, very easy to breed. And I think that's also something which children of any age um, will find interesting. I'm going to reach down the container of my... Oops, trying to be caught by the bramble. The container of my um, um, cage is covered with eggs. And you can see there's a stick insect egg there, really, really easily um, to see. And that's... I think that's a fascinating thing. So watching these hatch, tiny little insects which are literally curled up inside their egg when they finally hatch out and then grow to something as impressive as that adult female. And I think that's a remarkable thing. Um, I think that's a really, really good way of getting um, demystifying insects, if you like, of reconnecting people to insects as well as to the wider natural world, making them more popular and more interesting. And hopefully if more people kept insects as pets, I think we wouldn't find them so frightening in the world around us. I think we'd be more interested in them. And hopefully that would mean there's more um, individuals in future generations spending time studying insects, but also taking a more active role in conservation and hopefully helping to reduce insect declines worldwide.